Hard as it is to believe, Aristotle thought that a person could have too many friends. He argued that an abundance of friends would lead to excessive and perhaps conflicting claims on one's loyalties. So that's what Aristotle meant when he said, he who has friends can have no friends. Exactly right, Imogen. Well done. I've forgotten that particular quote. First sign of senility. Now, Saint Augustine, a later philosopher to Aristotle, held similar beliefs. He wrote that humans cannot enjoy the fullness of happiness without friends. Any thoughts on the matter? Well, I hope you have some by Friday when we debate Augustine's philosophy. We'll need team leaders. Imogen, if you could lead the affirmative. And Eve, the negative. Sam's pen. If that had been me, I would have hunted him down to give it back to him. That's the most common mistake. Indifference is the key. The more you don't care, the more they want you to. Ah. Oh. It's the way all great women get their men. Or by propinquity. What? Well, propinquity. It's the idea that physical proximity is the reason people fall in love. Anyway, Eve, we won't talk about Sam anymore. <laughs> What's this about Sam? Oh, come on, Eve, it's a really funny story. OK, now you have to tell me. OK, Eve told everyone at school that Sam kissed her. Really? Well, I mean, technically it did happen. Technically? When they were five. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll find out who deserves to be Sylvie's best friend. Imogen, who's known there for two days now. Or Eve, her constant companion since primary school. First question. What was Sylvie's most embarrassing moment? Getting puked on by Jared at Charlotte's pool party. Yes, Imogen. If I may say, Matt, it was actually Sylvie's greatest fashion faux pas, wearing a tartan skirt to the third form social. Correct. Next question. If Sylvie was stranded on a desert island, what three things would she take with her? Bikini, cell phone, and the number for search and rescue hunts. Correct. Time for the quick fire round. What would Sylvie say? Wax or shave? Wax. Super Supreme or Hawaiian? Super Supreme. Brad Pitt or Heath Ledger? Heath. 21 inches. Polka dots. Fluffy. The cat. Cosmetic surgery. Correct. And Imogen's our winner! <laughs> but Eve won't leave empty-handed, people. She may not be Sylvie's best friend, but she can pretend she is. <laughs> well, I've got to go. i better work on the debate. I've got it all planned out. Well, see us. OK. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Well, maybe I'm just being insecure about this, but... What do you do when you feel like you're losing your best friend to someone else? I don't really have a best friend. I've got, like, groups of friends. I've never, ever, ever talked to her again. Emotions can get tossed around. Friends are everything to me, really. Let the friendship go for a while, and if it comes back later on, then that's nice. Make them really, really jealous. She's like a girl, you know? You've got to win their heart back. Lollies, chocolate, and a shopping spree. They're all the best friendly sort of thing to them. And it's they lost it, they're losing me. Caleb, whatever it is in that box, you can't keep it in there. It's cool. Shh. You can hear that. Could be aliens. Intelligent aliens. How do you know they're intelligent? They make television. Ned. Oh. Never mind. If there's a possibility of a connection, you've got to take it right. I mean, sure, they're different and there's obstacles to overcome, but if we can get past that and learn to... <laughs> ...understand them, there's a chance we can make some really good friends. I guess. <laughs> Actually, Ned, you're so right. Well, I've, got, I've got to go. <laughs> Today is going to be different, right? I mean, sure, we all have our, our differences, but... I make more of an effort with Sylvie and Imogen, then we can all connect, right? <laughs> Hi, guys! <laughs> Hi. What did he say? Nothing much. He is cute, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys would be great together. Are you sure you're not jealous, Eve? After that kiss and all. <laughs> hey, girls. How's it going in Kittyland? <laughs> Fine. How's Food World? Sweet. 
Basis dump any day. Loser. I used to go to school here. Mm-hmm. Thick as. <laughs> yeah, but that didn't stop you oh, like, liking him, eh? Hello, did your brain go on vacation? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Didn't you, Philip? I, I thought I had. Well, you said you would. I must have forgot. <sighs> Typical. Oh, 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 we could go shopping and everything. In the Hadi Shani, my hair's returned. I had to go down the dairy. The tash up any head still. Oh, thanks, Matt. You're precious. Oh, my God. He is so good at crush on you. I only scraped into business class. Sadly, below my setting preference. Well, maybe you should tell him that. And who's my one man cheer squad? I don't oh, think so. Well, he likes you. If you're not interested, then you shouldn't let him on. Don't you think so? Come on, people, the bell's gone. I think you should just relax. That's what I think. Interesting how study for the debate can be interpreted as stand around doing nothing. Excellent. <laughs> am I being paranoid, or are my efforts to fit in just making matters worse? Maybe I should just stick with what I know. The debate. That's my chance to outshine Imogen. But will that stop what's happening to me and Sylvie? <laughs>